Good day grade 11s. Welcome to the last lesson in week 20. We're still looking at quantitative aspects of chemical change but in this lesson we're looking at volume relationships in gaseous reactions. In other words we're looking at exactly what we we're doing before with stoichiometry but this time we're going to have to look at our volume because we are forming gases. So let's do an example. So we have explosions on the right here you can see that there is a big explosion occurring and what that is is ammonium nitrate which has been, been used in some surface mining. So it's over there. The following reaction occurs when ammonium nitrate is heated. You've got ammonium nitrate forms nitrogen, water and oxygen. Now it says if 750 grams of ammonium nitrate is used, what volume of oxygen gas would we expect to produce at SDP? Okay, so what volume of oxygen gas? So what are they relating? They're relating ammonium nitrate to oxygen. Okay, and this here is our theoretical relationship. But this is the amount of grams, and we know that grams are not very useful to us. What do we need? We need moles. And we know that the number of moles is mass over our molar mass. So we need to get the molar mass of ammonium nitrate, which is NH4NO3, ammonium nitrate. So we're going to use our periodic table, which is on the next slide, and we've got nitrogen, which again we're going to round off to 14. We've got hydrogen, which is 1, and we've got oxygen, which is 16. Okay, so let's use that now. So we've got nitrogen, which is 14 plus 4 times hydrogen, which is 1, plus another nitrogen of 14, plus 3 times our oxygen of 16, and we're going to whip out our calculator, and we can clear it, and we're going to go 14 plus 4 plus 14 plus bracket 3 times 16, close bracket equals 80. So the molar mass of ammonium nitrate is 80 grams per mole. So to get the number of moles, we're going to go 750 divided by 80, which equals 750 divided by 80, and that's going to give us 9.38 moles, 9.38 moles, 9.38 moles. So we have got 9.38 moles of ammonium nitrate. So now let's look at the theory behind it. The theory says that we have got 2 moles of ammonium nitrate. 2 moles of ammonium nitrate are going to form 1 mole of oxygen. 1 mole of oxygen. But we don't have 2 moles, we've got 9.38. So to get this relationship, what do we need to do? We need to divide this by 2. So we're going to take our 9.38, 9.38, and we're going to divide by 2, and we're going to get 4.69. So we are forming 4.69 moles of oxygen. Okay, so for every 750 grams, that equals 9.38 moles of ammonia. But the ratio is 2 to 1, so for 9.38 moles of ammonium nitrate, we're getting 4.69 moles of oxygen. But what is the question? The question was, what volume of oxygen gas would we expect to produce at STP? But at STP, one mole of gas okay, occupies 22.4 decimeters cubed. Remember, we learnt about that in our ideal and real gas section. Okay, so it's STP, one mole of gas is 22.4, but we don't have one mole, we've got 4.69 moles. So we need to take our 4.69 moles and times it by 22.4, so we get 4.69 times by 22.4, and that gives us 105.06 grams, 105.06 decimeters cubed. And that is the volume of the oxygen gas that we would expect to produce at STP, which is quite a lot of gas. Right, let's look at one more example. 
In this example, we're talking about controlled explosions, and this specifically, we're looking at airbags. Okay, so sodium azide is sometimes used in airbags, and it, when it is triggered, it has the following reaction. Your sodium azide plus your, it goes to sodium plus nitrogen. And we can watch a little video here quickly. Okay, so that's just a little video of this happening in real time. Basically, the sodium azide, when it's triggered, gives off sodium plus nitrogen gas. And this nitrogen gas is what is actually powers and inflates the airbag. And the white stuff you sometimes see is the sodium powder. Right, the question is, if we have 55 grams of sodium azide, what volume of nitrogen gas would we expect to produce? Okay, and again, I'm assuming this is at STP. So let's choose a different color. Okay, so it says, if 55 grams of sodium azide, which is the stuff, is used, what volume of nitrogen gas, the stuff, would we expect to produce? And again, I'm assuming it's at STP. Right, so again we need to work with moles. So we need the molar mass of our sodium azide. Okay, so the molar mass of sodium, we're going to take as 23, and nitrogen is 14. So that is going to be 23 plus 3 times 14, which equals... 23 plus bracket 3 times 14 close bracket equals 65. So the molar mass of this is 65 grams per mole. But we weren't given 65 grams, we were only given 55 grams. So the number of moles is mass over molar mass. You should notice in your sleep by now. The mass is 55 over the molar mass is 65 which equals 55 divided by 65, which is 8, oh, no, I made a mistake, let's try again, 55 divided by 65, which is 0 0.85, okay, 0 0.85 moles. So we were only given 0 0.85 moles of sodium iodide. Now let's look at the ratio again. The ratio says two moles, two moles of sodium azide is going to form three moles of nitrogen. So therefore, do you agree that one mole of sodium azide is going to form three over two moles of nitrogen? Why? Because we just divide both these sides by 2, so that we've got this one as 1. Why? Because we've got 0 0.85. So what we're going to do is we're going to times this by 0 0.85, and we're going to times this by 0 0.85. So what do we get? We get 0 0.85 moles of this forms 3 over 2 times 0 0.85. And we're going to whip out the calculator, and we move it across. And we go 3 divided by 2 times 0.85 equals 1.28. 1.28. So we are forming 1.28 moles of nitrogen gas. Okay. But what do we know? The volume of nitrogen gas at STP, the volume at STP of 1 mole is what? Is 22.4. Therefore, the volume, let's do it down here, the volume is going to be 1.28 times 22.4, which equals, and let's get the calculator out, 1.28 times 22.4 equals 28.67. 28.67. Decimeters cubed. And that 
Grade 11 is your final lesson on week 20. Please go make sure you know how to do these questions where the, we have to work with volume. Go practice and then do the questions at the assessment. Have a great day.